I don't think he'll go in there. Ah, but you know what? These archers will. Because they are not the brightest tools in the shed. Or Actually, it's sharpest tools in the shed, isn't it? Come on, get over here. And that should keep anybody from jumping in there. I'm just going to put an extra one on each side to make sure. Okay, you can go back to work. So at this point, oh yeah, I need to put uh, my warehouse expansions in here. Now, I've only got two of them, because I think that should be fine. And then when I need to get uh, come over and check it, it'll be just right there. Let me go ahead and... Can I fill this area in without destroying it? Well, it looks like I can. Okay. So it's kind of nice and hidden, actually. So if you put the warehouse block inside of a wall, you could have your storage blocks outside uh, and covered. So that, that sounds like a good deal. Now, obviously, this guy's not going to be the fastest because, you know, he's just a novice. So, I'm just going to kind of let this run for a little while. And we're about halfway through the episode. I'm really going to try and maintain a 30-minute episode. Uh, if you've been watching the series, you may have noticed that uh, when I first started, I had a lot smaller uh, max resolution on this, uh, what you were able to stream it at off of YouTube. Uh, and that's just because I was playing around with the compression I was using. And uh, from there I went ahead and I increased the, uh, the resolution that I, I was uh, recording it at. But uh, the bitrate was a little bit low. So the quality even at a 720 resolution wasn't all that great. So what I ended up doing was... I actually went ahead and increased the bitrate that I was compressing it at in my conversion. And so the quality is a lot better now. Uh, I just reviewed the last two episodes I posted, but they were like uh, about 45 minutes each. And so at that, uh, at that file size for that quality, uh, it was actually uh, about a gig. Uh, per episode there and so I want to try and cut that down a little bit so I'm gonna try and really make sure I maintain the 30 minute episode length and uh, you know 45 minutes sometimes uh, y you might just think that that's a little bit too long so I went ahead and and I'm gonna really really focus on that uh, as you can see here the food production is going great We've got tons of charcoal, tons of food. Uh, this little clock here works just great. The chicken farm I haven't had any problems with since the update. So far the only uh, possible bug that I'm seeing has to do with uh, adept uh, NPCs actually c coming into the world as novice. So uh, that's something that I'll kind of try and play with and see if we can get that resolved because uh, I don't want to start making like adept soldiers which cost, here let me just go ahead and show you that. Okay, so where is it? Uh, here we are. Like an adept foot soldier requires chain, but then once we get up to the expert level, now we're talking an iron chest plate and a diamond sword. If I make that and he comes into the world as a novice or even an adept, um, that's going to be really, really disappointing, especially once we start getting up into... Uh, see, now the archer still is just wearing leather for some reason. Uh, let's see. Siege engineer, medics, those guys are all leather. Uh, here we get a diamond hammer for the expert craftsman. Uh, you know, I'd really hate to uh, to lose the diamonds, and you know, even for this guy here with with uh, these diamond tools, 
I would really just hate to lose um, the diamonds used in the crafting for that. So I'll probably go into my test world and see. All right, so this guy here needs to know where his home is. So let's get him a home point. And then probably next episode, I'm going to go ahead and focus on uh, clearing out some of this area and either making uh, a home uh, like a barracks downstairs or I'll just go ahead and I'll make a barracks room or a building outside the fortress. So if anybody has a preference on that, you know, feel free to let me know. I do kind of like the uh, the barracks idea for the soldiers at least, you know, because soldiers live in a barracks. At least at the uh, the lower ranks they do. <laughs> so let's uh, let's make sure that our uh, our miner here can get back out here. Are you still trying to follow me? Okay, yeah, he was still on follow. So he should be able to find out that the food is here because he's going to be walking right past it and working right near it. So, so far, yeah, this is a little bit slow. Uh, much slower than, uh, you know, say a, a build craft quarry. So definitely the speed at which he works uh, being determined by his level. But you can also add on multiple NPCs. So for the cost of a stone pickaxe, I could theoretically double this. And in fact, why don't we go and check that out here before the end of the video and make sure that a second miner will be able to do that. And of course, I need to get some more cobblestone. How is it that I run out of the most basic resources of cobblestone and dirt so quickly? Well, probably because I didn't have any type of automated mine. So, let's go ahead and grab another one of these. I've got some paper. Is that what I needed for that? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. There's my book. And I really want that string. So here we have a miner. Novice. Got that. Let's see. One paper and four food. Now that's cheap. If I can double my mining speed with that, then I'll be really, really happy. But I think since there's that much work that it will work. Let's just hope he's got enough room here to access it. So we're just going to put him down. And, yep, he says, there is work to do. Let me help. So there we go. We got that. Speeding up a little bit. And yeah, that's that's not too bad. Now, one thing that uh, you may not know, because I haven't mentioned this yet, is uh, I want to look in here for the mod items, because there's something called an unnamed. There's three of them, actually. And if you look at them, they certainly look like Buildcraft engines. Well, that's because if you have Buildcraft installed, you can use these engines and uh, you can use NPCs to work one of these engines to create Buildcraft power. Ah, good, he found the food. And you can also use uh, Buildcraft energy to power, uh, you know, like this quarry or the farms. So there is a conversion matrix. I believe it's 80 Minecraft jewels per uh, tick going either way and so you can get buildcraft power using these guys so uh, I did talk with the uh, well I, I emailed the the writer uh, of this uh, mod about the buildcraft API and whether or not it would be available without uh, Buildcraft installed because uh, I had Railcraft installed 
uh, in one of my mod packs with Ancient Warfare, but no build craft. And the a rolling machine and I believe the rock crusher those run off of build craft energy and so I wanted to know if I would be able to use this interface uh, he said he was going to look into it uh, I don't know if he's implemented that or not uh, I believe the mod author on this is shadow mage and uh, probably at a later date I'll go ahead and I'll just throw railcraft in here and see if that works or maybe forestry because uh, they both have engines and uh, kind of enter operate there so I'll see if the buildcraft engines that are in here will uh, will work on well, buildcraft style let's see uh, other than that uh, at this point I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode because I do want to keep it down to that 30 minute time limit but as you can see, we are getting some resources. It's going to be a while before they get down to uh, any real resources like iron because we're starting at a Y level of 80. So, But iron should be showing up here pretty soon. And then uh, from there, maybe a little bit of gold and then some diamonds, maybe some emeralds, lapis, redstone, stuff like that. So if you have any other questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those uh, in the comments section. Uh, if you want to see you know, what happens with the, the vehicles here, uh, as I do, then uh, go ahead and tune in next episode. I'll make sure I go and do some spider hunting to get some string. Uh, kind of makes me wish I had Natura installed so that I had uh, cotton plants. Uh, because there is the uh, you can use the cotton to make string and wool of course uh, I do remember back in the old red power 2 there was a wool card and you could actually turn wool into string I believe you got four string for one wool using the wool card I'm not positive about that it's been a long time since I uh, played in a 1.4.6 world uh, but there's also the IC2 macerator, I believe. But it, you'll only get one string out of uh, one wool going with that route. So it's it's not very efficient. But if you don't have uh, a good source of string, then you know it's better than nothing. Because uh, you know wool from sheep is pretty easy. In fact, if we go over here and look in my warehouse here before we wrap up, we'll see that wool production is doing just fine uh, when Annabelle Lee comes back later she'll have plenty of wool to do whatever she wants uh, I did actually repack one of my farmers because I was just getting too much stuff so I think I've only got two working right now and between the two of these guys they're totally keeping up with everything here even though they're just the novice farmers I can't imagine needing more resources than what I'm getting from these farms. And as you can see, I'm not over inundated with eggs anymore. So that was definitely resolved. And, you know, with that, we'll go ahead and we'll end the episode. And I'll get this thing uh, compressed and sent to YouTube for you guys to watch. So. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, go ahead and give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see, uh, what you want to learn about. Because uh, as you can tell, I'm learning as I go. And I think that makes it a, a lot better experience. So thanks again. See you guys next time.